So let's talk about Wittig reactions. And as you may have guessed from the spelling versus the pronunciation, this is a very German reaction. So with a Wittig reagent, what we're doing is going to make a Wittig reagent and react it with a ketone to give us an alkene. But the first thing we have to do is create the Wittig reagent. And we're going to do this from triphenylphosphate. So usually substituted as PH3P. Now, having a lone pair, we're going to take this triphenylphosphine and react it with a carbon that contains a halide, two R groups, and a hydrogen. It's going to be important that we meet these conditions. So this is a very specific reaction, but it's one of those reactions that if you're looking for a short way to do these types of reactions, it's the only way to do it. But anyway, we're going to take our secondary alkyl halide and we're going to react it with the Wittig. The Wittig here, or the triphenylphosphine, is going to produce this intermediary complex. So, the next step is that we need to remove this hydrogen off of the carbon. And to do this, we're going to use an organometallic reagent, or, far more simply, if we run this synthesis in dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO, we can remove, a, we can make the basic form of it. Um, again, it's going to be similar to working with the organometallic reagents. But either way, we're going to have to introduce a very strong base. And this base here is going to abstract the hydrogen. to give us this complex. So through the use of a strong base, we, we abstract the hydrogen from the carbon and we end up with this negative and positive. Now, do the negative and positive attach? The answer is no. This is what's called a zwitter ion. So a zwitter ion is a compound where you have both a positive and a negative charged atom in the same molecule, but they don't form a bond with each other. These charges stay separate. The reason this occurs is kind of that the phosphorus here doesn't, it won't substantify its octet rule. Now, more technically, well, more physically what's happening is that the phosphorus does not have enough area around it to account for a fifth bond. And because of that, it keeps the charges separated. We effectively form a carbanion here. Now, this is our Wittig reagent. So this complex here, our triphenylphosphine bound to a carbon with two R groups containing a lone pair, is what is our what is our um, Wittig reaction react, re reagent. We can take our Wittig reagent, and to make it a little bit easier to see, I'm going to draw it in blue and react it with a carbonyl complex. Now let's trace the positive and negatives. Part of the reaction here is the phosphorus forming an oxygen, phosphorus forming a bond with the oxygen, the carbon forming a bond with the other carbon, and what it was called the Wittig intermediate. So it's actually a square planar compound. And there's a lot that goes into details. If you're really curious, there are a lot of good videos that go through like the decomposition mechanisms. But ultimately what we get when we finish is our triphenylphosphine. reacts to give us this phosphorus oxygen complex and we end up generating mixtures of the blue carbon complex, the starting compound, and whatever we attach to the Wittig. Now what, I, what do I mean by mixtures? These R and R prime roots may be cis or trans to one another. We will actually get a mixture of both. Now there is some steric, guiding, steric guidances that will force it, but basically we will end up with a equal mixture of both the cis and the trans versions of the final products. So the power of the Wittig reaction is that we can take something like an alkyl, we can take this secondary alkyl halide and react it with a compound ketone and end up generating an alkene and basically two or three simple steps versus what it would take to actually do this with probably the other synthetic schemes we have at our disposal. But this is the Wittig reaction. Again, with the Wittig reaction, you don't you have to make the Wittig reagent first in DMSO with a strong base. 
Once you've made it, you react it with your ketone. This will give you a mixture of the alkenes, both the cis and the transversions. And there's your Vidic product.